I completely forgot that I had these soul stones. I'm going to pull them uh, right now. But I figured why not go ahead and talk a little bit about CVC. It's been a while since I've talked about CVC with you guys. I personally don't know anybody who still actually genuinely cares about doing CVC. Like, it's still nice to do, but I haven't seriously done a CVC in like a really long time. But we do have um, these stones. Uh, you know, I got one pull here from the summon pulls here, and I got another one on my uh, alt account. We're going to go ahead and pull on both, but I wanted to go ahead and provide a little bit of insight, a little bit of insight into what do I do to get a lot of points. Now, I do have a video showing you guys every little thing that I do, but I guess I'll give you like the main things that I do. So, obviously, the first thing that I do to prepare for CVC is make sure that the night before I have a lot of my uh, clan boss, uh, what do you call it, uh, chests saved and put aside so the morning of cvc i don't actually claim my chest until cvc starts because cvc starts and then there's some hours in between reset and during that little window in between reset and when cvc starts if you didn't collect any of your chests you can actually get points for those it's kind of like a mini double dip type thing and then in a couple minutes or a couple hours after that you can go ahead and claim uh, another set of clan boss keys. You don't have to do it that way. Some people might argue against it for one reason or another, but that's just something that I do. Faction Wars, obviously wait to do Faction Wars. If you can do Faction Wars 21, you're going to be getting 2,000 points per double um, multi-battle or double run or whatever it's called. And sometimes they do have boosts. So if you're looking at um, right here, where is it? The objectives list, you can actually see what you can do during CVC to to, uh, to net you 2x points. And sometimes you'll see Faction Wars will be at a 2x, so you can actually get, um, well, 4,000 points for one run. Right now there's a double XP boost for Forge materials. Uh, forging actually nets you quite a bit. And if you're about to top out like I am, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and just forge some material resilience gear is something that i normally forge just to sell so what i do is i just sit here and i just double click and look at all of these points here just collecting all of these uh, material or not not the materials but the resilience set sets and it's worth a lot of points here and the nice thing after that is you can actually just sell everything because most of this stuff here is just complete shit so i'm going to probably just get rid of it so you sell that and while we're on the subject of gear just do a quick sell and if you wanted to now would probably be a good time to go ahead and roll up pieces of gear if you're not really saving for artifact enhancement events or you don't actually care now would be a good time usually what i do is my um, my gear cleanses during cvc because you can get a lot of points leveling up gear rolling things up to 12 gets you some points it's not a whole bunch but in the grand scheme of things it kind of is Right, so let's say you're going through all this gear and you don't know, obviously, Merciless and, and Supersonic gear I'm going to keep. But I can roll it up to 12 and be like, okay, yeah, I'm probably going to keep that. And that's 390 points there. Or if you see a banger and you're like, you know what, I'm going to bring that all the way up to 16. Because I already know I'm going to keep it no matter what. That's something I want to see at 16. Boom. That's 18, or 18, yeah, 1,890, almost 1,900 points right there. So right now would be a good time to go ahead and roll up your pieces of gear. You could check to see, like, hey, you know, if this rolls a triple, I'll keep it. If it doesn't, um, then I'm going to sell it. Yeah, I was looking for a, a triple speed there. It didn't happen, but boom, you get points for that. Um, if you're able to get a lot of silver all at once, another thing that we do is, or another thing that I do is pull shards. Pulling shards, if you get new champions, that's worth a lot. I don't recommend this to be, like, the thing that you rely on to get a lot of points, but... It's something that you can do. Another thing that I do, pretty much for the most part, I run Spider because Spider gets you 800 points per double run. So if, you, if I have any spare energy, um, then I go ahead and I run Spider. If it happens to be that there is a tournament or a fusion event going on at the same time, even better. Or like right now, what I've been doing was I've been banging out uh, Sand Devil because there's a tournament for Sand Devil. I'm not going for the fusion and boom, 800 points there. 
So you can go ahead and do your your ascension farming. You can do I, I like doing Phantom Shogun during this time as well. So obviously doing that. And if you set it and forget it for a prolonged period of time, you're going to get a decent amount of points. When you are starting to collect a bunch of books, what you might want to do is start saving those books for CVC. Because legendary tomes actually provide you a lot not just legendary but like epics you know sometimes rare if you're really desperate but legendary tomes actually give you a lot of points uh let me go ahead and just bring up uh samson for an example all 10 10 books what is 10 book 30 000 points right there that's the equivalent of summoning a legendary champion right there another thing that i like to do is i like to wait to ascend a champion all the way up during cbc now if you wait to do this during champion training events you're not going to get a lot of points yes it could be used for fusion um but the points that you get doing champion training aren't a lot in comparison to what you get for doing it during for for ascending during um what do you call it during cbc like i think during champion training you get what uh, maybe like 100 champ training points you're better off just running campaign or slamming potions up but here you get 3500 points well that was only from four to six from five to six i think it's a lot higher let me let me go ahead and just uh go right here so let's ascend duchess that's 1850 and if i wanted to max her out from five to six that's 2500 right there definitely a lot of a lot more points did they lower i thought this was a lot higher I could have sworn this was a lot higher before. Yeah, I thought it was a lot higher. Anyway, so that's another avenue that you can take. Wait to use your books and to ascend your champions during CVC. I don't know if pulling soul stones to your CVC points. Let's go ahead and pull this one just to be sure. It would be nice to get Yumiko or Nut. Let's see what we get. And we get a purple, an epic... Epic Geomancer. Do I need that? Geom I guess I do need it, but... These are my other two Geomancers that I don't really need. Wait, did we get points? I didn't see if we got points. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and pull these. Okay, so yes, pulling Soul Stones looks like it does get you points, but it's probably based on what you're actually pulling. So, oh, yeah, of course. Like, the biggest thing that I do is probably Tag Team Arena. So what do I do for Tag Team Arena? I basically drop my defense the day before. My my, my Tag Team Arena defense. I, I drop it the day before. And I let myself drop all the way down to basically the bottom of Tag Team Arena. And these are easy points. Because for the most part, at least in TTA 3, G3 and G4, we're all on the same page here. So if you can make it up to G3, or you'll see on my other account I'm in G4, you get a lot of points, 705, I think it's like seven, almost 800 per tag team arena fight. And so we get a lot of points doing this. So that's definitely something that you're going to want to go ahead and do to prepare for CVC. When you're at a lower level, um, like let's say you're in bronze or silver, you're, you don't actually get that many points, if I remember correctly. Because I've done CVCs on my wife's account and she's only in like bronze or silver arena, I think, or TTA, and she doesn't get a lot of points. But yeah, uh, the way that it works is you see everybody's attacking me because my defense is set all the way to just one champion. Let's go ahead and take this with us. It's also a great time to farm up your, your gold bars because you're definitely going to want to start saving up to get Sacred Shards and Legendary Tomes here. So it's a good idea to go ahead and do this. And the other thing that I do to prepare for that is I go to the gem shop. I spend a few gems to fill up my Tag Team Arena. I usually buy the 15 and 14 so what i mean by that is at reset if you wanted to buy tag team arena refills it costs 15 gems i think it's worth it for the amount of points that you get then if you wanted to re-up and buy a second refill that's going to be 40. if you wanted to go ahead and get this third one that's 50 we can go ahead and get it just to show you guys it bumps up to 60 and then it caps out at 100. so every refill that you buy after that will be 100. now let's go ahead and just log into my Alt account where we can pull the last soul stone. 
Oh, and I'll show you guys the point difference in Tag Team Arena 4 as well. So we're in TTA 4 here. Let's go ahead and run this. We'll see how many points we get for doing TTA 4. Yeah, easy points here. Easy points. And I like it when there's a, when there's a 2x. So it's 780. 780 for TTA 4. All right, let's go ahead and pull this summoning thing. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Another epic. Damn. Oh, well, wait, I already have oh, 10,000 points for, for Ruella, but I already have a fully blessed Ruella. Don't I? Or I thought I did. I don't. Oh, all right, I'll take that. 